Hey guys, welcome to another episode of El Jefe Shop Shop. I'm your captain now. So here's today's victim. It's a 93 Triple S Pulsar. Um, it's been loved really well and is absolutely filthy. So we'll start by washing it and then give it a service. So a quick degrease and spray it off with the hose and it's made a whole world of difference. So now we'll get working. So I just swap the oil filter over, as you can see it's right in there, and you cannot get your hand on it. So I borrowed this from a mate of mine around the corner, so it's a 65mm, and it actually fit on the end of the filter really easily. 17mm spanner on there, and popped it open, and then got the new one back on, and then did it up with this. I don't know how you're supposed to do it, but that worked. No way you're getting your hands in there. So we're done giving the Pulsar a service, so I've done the engine oil, engine filter, the fuel filter, air filter and we got a new radiator cap because the other one was knackered flushed the coolant and drained and refilled the engine so it's running a bit better uh, we also did spark plugs so that's pretty much everything under the bonnet um, now we're just going to do the front brake pads and then another day we're going to do the rear brake pads and discs because they're not in stock at the moment so the front discs are good the back ones are knackered so we're just going to replace the pads in the front and do both pads and discs in the back at a later date so jack the car up and take your wheel off. Then there's two bolts in the back of the caliper, which are just here. So undo both of those, knock this off, and then take your pads out, put the pads in, I'll show you that in a minute. So I just got the caliper off. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of brake pad material left, so these definitely did need replacing. So because these pads were so worn down, the uh, piston here where my thumb is, that's been pushed out quite a way. So what you need to do is just get a G-clamp and clamp that back together, which pushes the fluid back out, and we'll get the piston back into the brake caliper, then you can fit the bigger thickness of the new pads. All right, on to the second side. So you can see the brake rotor here. Um, it's pretty smooth. So if they're worn out, this lip here where the um, rust is, you can see just on the end here, uh, it'll have a groove. So this is actually really smooth, so we don't need to replace these. They're actually not too bad. Um, whereas the back ones, which I'll show you when we do those, um, they have a huge lip in there. So that's just how you check your brakes. So your brake pads just pop out like that, and these ones don't have a whole lot of life left on them compared to the new ones, which have about a centimeter. These ones only have, I don't know, three or four mil maybe. So just pull these out, pop them back in. 
but I have to push this piston back in first, so I'll get that happening in a second. So you just want to get the G-clamp on like this, pushing on the piston on the inside, and just pushing on the back of the caliper is fine. So you just want to keep doing the clamp up until it pushes it in to the caliper, and then just get it in as far as you can really, you don't have to go too far, um, make sure you don't go past the dust seal, and then you'll be able to get the pads back in. You can see here the piston's been pushed into the caliper and it's almost flush, it's still sticking out a little bit and the uh, rubber seal is in, just in here still, so we haven't gone past that. So I should be able to get the pads in now and I'll show you how to check if you've got it pushed in far enough. So just put your new pad in like this, push it back in the same way the other one was. And if you can get it past this mounting surface here, and you're doing pretty well. Um, and then the other one goes into the front side. The other one goes in the front like that. And then see this gap here where my finger is? You want to be able to get your brake rotor into that gap. So that's fine. Got plenty of room. So then chuck your rotor back on, chuck the caliper back on, put your bolts back in, and then you bleed your brakes. I borrowed Dale's trailer and I went to Tommy's house and got a Commodore for 50 bucks. So now I'm going to sell it to Dale and give him his trailer back. Marketing genius. I also got no rims and tyres for the Hilux. So they're a Steely 17 off of a Hyundai and we've got some decent tread on the side and a bit of sidewall so they look alright. They're 235 5517s. And the originals were like a 205 70 15. Just fills out the guards a bit better. It still has a bit of tread. Looks pretty good. Light bar looks alright. Got to take the bracket off and paint it still. Just added a new dent. It's going alright. Good little rig. Hope you like your Commodore Dale. He hasn't even seen it yet. Checking out his new purchase that he didn't even look at. He's not very stoked. Uh. I can't wait. What are you going to do with it, Dale? Save it a little rest, I reckon. Yeah? Yeah. As in, turn it into a microwave, or? It'd be a good buggy, wouldn't it? I yeah. Less, Just put a 5 litre in it with a carby. LS. Carby. Skids. Do it. Come on, let's go. Yeah. You happy? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> and one bit that he's happy with. Because you never find them stay. <laughs> They're always broken. It's got an SS lip on it, SS side skirts, SS front lip. He reckons I'm stooging him. Because I said I do not want this. <laughs> and you brought it back. He reckons he didn't want it. I knew deep down he wanted it. It's got an intact fuel cap, Dale. Video, you include just the, the screenshot of our conversation where it says, I do not think I want this. What was that? Yeah, you know. You want me to include a screenshot just here that says you wanted it? Yeah, we'll find out, hey. Alright. Three keys. 
you don't need keys where you're going. How do I open the brakes? With magic. <laughs> Press the button. This is like G's level magic. Resto time. Look, this is intact. Let's make a rush this way. He's not very stoked about it. <laughs> it's got a garnish on the back. That's going to be worth money. Yeah, you're one of them. How many phones have you got connected to Gumtree at the moment? None, because I hate it. Sure. Let's go for it, so it's in your backyard, mate. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you're going to do the most.